For those of you who don't know, I was injured eight months ago here in Japan. I went to the hospital because I was experiencing tingling after the vaccine. And the doctor、uh, insisted on doing a lumbar puncture on me. And right after he did it, I started leaking spinal fluid. I had a spinal fluid leak. And I went to another hospital to get a blood patch, which gave me adhesive arachnoiditis. Which means my spinal nerve roots are glued to my spinal canal, and it is horribly painful. I'm also leaking spinal fluid still, so I can't be upright. I can't. Stand, I can't sit, I can't lay on my back without excruciating pain.、Um, and no doctor here wants to help me. Hi,、uh, my name is Erica, and I'm putting on the event here in Asakusa. And the event is to raise money for a girl named Lily. She is from Sweden, and she had a horrible accident that was caused by doctors here in Japan.、Um, not just one, but two accidents that were caused by doctors、um, that were caused by procedures that were unnecessary for her.、Um, they didn't warn her that she was in a risk group for these、uh, procedures. Um, or maybe they didn't even know themselves. And、uh, it was completely unnecessary.、Uh, they wanted to test her for something called Gillian Barr syndrome, but、uh, she found out later that there were other low risk ways to test for that, that the spinal tap was completely unnecessary. So she got a spinal tap, and that caused a leak in her、um, cerebrospinal fluid from her spinal cord. and that Uh, that's like what your brain floats in. <laughs>、oh, yeah. And so、uh, her, bla- her brain is actually sinking to the back of her head, which caused severe headaches, and she has to lay down.、Um, and so they, they didn't treat her for it. They, they,、uh, they recommended her to another hospital that can do a blood patch on Lily's persistence. And then when she got to this other hospital, they gave her the blood patch, but again, they told her that it was low risk and that,、uh, that it was a less than 1% chance that the conditions would worsen. So they performed the blood patch, and according to Lily, as soon as they injected the blood into her、uh, spinal cord, so what a blood patch is, is they take blood from your arm and they put it into the site where the leak was. And the idea is that the blood will add pressure around the spinal cord and it should seal any leaks that are happening. But again, it was done incorrectly. And according to Lily, as soon as it was injected, it caused severe pain. Um, she said she felt like her ears were closed off and she was feeling like electric shocks and、um, severe pain to where the site was. She lost her balance and、um, suddenly, after this blood patch, her legs turned purple when she was standing.、Um, but the doctors、uh, they said that there was no further treatment for this and they, they sent her home like that. Oh, God. Yeah, and、uh, they told、uh, she went back a month later, not changing. So, this is a month of laying down、oh. and a month of in severe pain. The headache was not gone, it was worse.、Um, there's a whole list of symptoms.、Uh, I can't even recall them all.、Right. <laughs> anyway, so all of these symptoms are continuing. And、uh, so she came back a month later on a stretcher, and、uh, they said that there was nothing that they can do for her. And they actually said that their hands were full, and、really? they sent her home.、Uh, so, Lily went home and she was researching, and she found a condition called adhesive arachnoiditis. And she was sure this was it, and she asked the hospital for a steroid treatment, and the doctors laughed at her、um, and said that she couldn't judge her own condition. And so, the thing about the steroid treatment is that if it's not done immediately, then it's,、uh, it's useless. Okay. So, she asked for the treatment, but and then she,、uh, they, after they refused it to her, she contacted some doctors outside of Japan who could confirm, confirm that it was indeed adhesive arachnoiditis. 
And so she sent her information, got the confirmation. And then once she got the confirmation, she took this to, back to the hospital and they finally gave her the steroid treatment, but it was too late because it was over okay. the initial period. And so that's where Lily is now. Lily and her, um, so Lily has gone to several hospitals since this looking for guidance and nobody will give her any guidance because of the complicated case because okay. it's so complicated and because her conditions are so rare right. and everyone says that they can't do anything for her. So what Lily needs is to get out of Japan. She needs to um, take a medical transport unit because she can't stand up still. She's still laying on her side. She can't even lay on her back. Okay, so she's still bedridden at the moment. Not just bedridden, but she has to lay on her side and she can't move her legs. <laughs> right, and they're not, the doctors are that she's reached out here and just reached out to So that they can't do anything her. for her. Okay, so she needs mm -hmm. to get out of Japan, she but it's complicated. To, uh, so for it's her. expensive okay. because she needs to take a medical transport unit because she needs to have the medical uh, utilities right, right. <laughs> on board. She can't and just she, sit she, down she, in it. Right, a, she in can't a ride a regular plane. So it's like fifty to eighty thousand dollars. Fifty to eighty thousand. Yeah. So this is today is like a, a the first of. So today is the first event. of many fundraisers, probably because we're not going to make that much money today. Right. But so, we're trying to get the word out to try to help Lily, who's stuck here in Japan in a condition that she's not being helped for. Right. Yes. So there will be more further events. So stay tuned. Okay, and may mm -hmm. I ask, what's your connection to Lily? Are you uh, friends yeah, from the back? No, yeah, so actually I... Each other? Um, I have a... Uh, I sell Howery jackets online and I was looking for models and that's how I found her Instagram and I started following her with that because um, I was looking for models. But And then we started talking online before her accident and we kind of became friends online just talking about gluten-free baking <laughs> because we both like gluten-free baking okay. and funny enough we were actually gonna meet in April last year and that's right when her accident happened okay and we were unable to meet and mm -hmm. this charming girl is your daughter and this is Ayla hello, hello. and there's your your handsome son yes <laughs> hello buddy <laughs> Uh, everything's been kind of delayed a little bit, but uh, we're all here and things are getting set up and that's all that's important. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys all for coming today and supporting Lily. It's amazing. All the donations that we got and with you guys being here to support. It means so much to Lily and her family. Uh, so we have a little bit of a lineup here. Serena's going to start us off. Um, but also we have so much other things going on today. We have some body painting. So you can get a little designs done and Liana will do that for you. So come talk to Liana here. And then we have Jimmy in the back. He's from Vogue, Japan, and he's taking studio photos for you guys. So it's saying yan for one shot and they can just, uh, e uh, what's it called, airdrop it right to you. Uh, so go see Jimmy. <laughs> and then we have a raffle draw over here. Does everyone know what a raffle draw is? <laughs> I think it's not very well known in Japan. But uh, so you buy the ticket and then we have tons of prizes here. We have a, a, a howery. We have some really nice dresses that are uh, come together in a bag. Um, what else do we have? We have a one hour interior consultation. <laughs> uh, we have a two hour photo session again with Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. Anything else? Uh, okay, so those are the raffle prizes. So you can come and buy the raffle tickets. So it is one for 500 yen or three for a thousand yen. And then you just take the ticket and you put it into whatever prize that you want. And I will announce the raffle draw winners at six. So stick around. And as you know, we got clothing up front for 500 yen, all items. Um, so many do donators. Uh, you guys probably are here because of that. <laughs> Thank you. And the jewelry as well. As well, we're selling roses, one for 250. <laughs> She's looking at me with the bed in my eyes. I just over and turn up the light.
I will try to keep recording talking about my story. Just just please know that every every donation and every share it really helps me getting to a place where I can get treatment. Um so thank you so much. Thank you for trying to save my life. Because it's it's true inhumane. Um and no one should have to suffer this amount of pain and without any help especially caused by doctors who then refuses to help me um it's very very hard to go through this again like in my head and especially talking about it but i know i have to since i want to get my story out there mostly because i need help <laughs> But also I want other people to avoid these procedures. I mean, I was in the risk group without knowing it to have complications. And I was not warned about anything. Um, the doctor kept telling me how safe it was. And he didn't tell me there are side effects. Um, and he basically scared me into doing the lumbar puncture because... He had an idea that I had Guillain Bar because I had tingling in my hands. Which turns out I didn't. Um, they couldn't find anything wrong with me. Um, <clears throat> but he told me if I don't go through with the lumbar puncture, I could wake up the next day and I wouldn't be able to walk. That's what he told me, and I got really scared and I felt like I had no choice um, but to go through it the lumbar puncture, um, even though I really didn't want to, because I didn't know what it meant. Um, I just blindly trusted him, and it, it was the worst mistake of my life. 